Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you guys a guide on how to make a fox in Warrior Cats. Also, in addition, some fox that may look somewhat like this, but would you, I'm going to show you how you can customize it to make something like this, but your own, and still pretty good if you really just don't know how to make a fox, which is totally fine. I barely knew how to make a fox for a long time, but I figured it out, so I'm going to share with you all how you guys can make a fox like this one. So, first things first, when you're making a fox, you wanna, when you're making any OC or a character or a cat or just anything, honestly, or morph skin, whatever you wanna call it, but whenever you're making anything like how we're making the fox right here, you wanna think about what you want your character morph to be like. Are they, are they, um, would they go to the dark forest when they died? Would they go to Starkland when they died? Would they be, uh, would they be exciting or boring or grumpy or old or young? Whatever you want. And a tip for whenever you're creating any sort of morph or OC is always set it to large so you have a bigger Kansas. If you want to be, if you're making your um, OC Fox kit, you can do that, but it's going to be a lot harder to zoom in and get the spots you need. So I suggest doing it large warrior or warrior, whichever you have. All right, to start things off, I'm going to delete this. So now that you've got that done, we're going to start with the ears. So for the ears, you could just leave them be. If you want your ears to be torn, they can be torn. If... And you can have tufts if you want, you don't have to. And I'm going to do it like this, you don't have to follow me, do it like this. For your eyes, you can do anything you want. If you want your fox to be blind, they can be blind. If you want them to be half blind and have a cool scar, that's fine. If you want them to be a grumpy fox, or have thicker eyelashes, or no eyelashes at all, do whatever. I'm going to use just normal lashes, because that's what I would like to use for my fox. So for head, now there are some things for your head that you're going to need to follow what I'm doing. So you want cheeks and you want to get, if we keep scrolling down, let's see, you want to get eye spot, oh wait, no, not eye spot, eye markings, keep going down, let's see. You want to also get these two under eye markings and under eye round and also, I forgot where it was, point mask. I can't find point mask. I'm just gonna type it in, point mask. So you want that, all of that. And now for muzzle, if you have it, I suggest doing long muzzle, but you may not have it, which is totally fine. You do not need to have it. But if you do, you can do long muzzle. I, it's highly suggested, but if you don't, that's totally fine. You can just be a normal fox. I'm going to use lung muzzle for mine. You don't really need any ear accessories, but you can add any if you'd like to. And same goes for body piece. If you want a body piece, you can, but you don't have to. Now for fur, you can make your character, your fox, as fluffy as you want to be. You can have any of these, but I suggest doing starting with the mane or the out, not that one. I suggest the mane and the elegant face fur if you don't have the mane or you'd rather do up, I always forget which it is, or you'd rather do, I forget, which is it? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Throat fur? I actually don't know. Um, you can use the other one. I forget the other main thing. I, I don't know. You don't have to use the main. If you don't want to, you can make use anything, anything else. But I suggest having the main and elegant face fur. You can make it different. You can use a different face fur. You can use, I think it was downwards neck fur. Actually, you can use downward neck fur. You can use any of these or any of the other things, get creative, be whatever you want, but I suggest the mane and the elegant face fur if you have it. All right, so now that we have this done, we go on to the tail, make it tail fluffy. 
make it thick and fluffy. If you don't want it to be fluffy, you can make it non-fluffy, you can make it slim, you can make it no fluff at all, and you can make it this kind of fluffy. I suggest doing just tail fluff. Then for the legs, just do soles. And then for the torso, so you want to get a cape and then a body stripe or body yeah body stripe single body stripe is what you want and then if you want you can have any scars if you want anywhere i'm not going to use scars for mine you don't need to have anything around your neck but if you do you can have it and that's basically everything so now for the colors now some people like to make silver foxes, which is totally fine. For this, I'm going to be doing orange foxes specifically because, because just, I don't know, just orange foxes. But you can also use any silver if you want to make a silver fox. But I'm going to be doing orange. So if you want to make an orange fox, you first want to go to simple to make it a lot more easier for when you're starting out. And you want to go and choose one of these three colors. These are the these three this this one this one and this one these three right here they are the best colors for foxes but if you want you can also use these but i suggest these three because they work the best not this one but these three they work the best as certain colors but you don't have to if you don't want to i'm going to use this one because it is the brightest and i want my fox to be bright and happy then you go to secondary pelt and you just hit white and we're all good with that so i'm going to start the body then the tail then the head a little weird but that's how i'm going to start this tutorial so for the body you every morph needs to have a fade it doesn't need to but it always looks better with a fade you don't have to do one if you don't want to and you want to make your fox more simple that is totally fine but I'm going to show you how to do a fade if you'd like to do one. So, first is we're going to grab this piece. We're going to grab color from up here or here, wherever you want. Grab the same color you used as the base in the primary pelt. Same color. And you want to make it a little darker. And then put that on your cape. Just a little darker. It doesn't have to be this dark. That's like a little too dark just like kind of like that color i'm trying to make it as like try to make it just like just like a little bit you know can grab i'm gonna grab this and compare see they're still pretty different but that's how you want it then you want to make this a little bit more darker and you can put it to this part right here the middle piece right here and right here on each side of the legs right below the cape and then to make it a little darker, you can do that and that. And then you can, for the back legs, if you want, you can do the same like that. You can make it a little lighter. I'm going to make it a little lighter. There we go. However you want. Now, for the next part, you can do any other colors you want. This is just a suggest, suggestion of starting. Then you get the black. And for the first two pieces of the legs, you can go like this and you just make them look completely black this part but if you want to you can you can just keep it like up to shorter amount of black you can make front if you want to i like to do it like this and for the back paws there's also two options you can so you want to do it like this this is how you want to do but actually if you don't want to do any black at all and you just want to do it for the paws that's fine or any at all and you could also do um the one above it you could do this and this what i'm doing basically but you have to weave the white leave the white there i suggest but you can also add them back and this is how i'm gonna have my body and then you want to just make the whole tail black and leave that white so that's we kind of have our starting base of the fox but now we have to do the face the mane we gotta do it all right so for this it's gonna be a little tricky so pay attention first for the ears you want to make that black oh no 
I messed up. Okay, make sure you can make it like this. You can make the ears fully black, however you want. Same goes for the inner ear. You can make them white. You can make them black if you want. You can do black. You can do basically that color. You can do whatever color you'd like. For this, I'm just going to leave them how they are for now. Okay, now that you've gotten that out of the way, and you basically have a fox, you can also do the elegant face for if you want. Like, like this. You could make it black. You can do that however you want, or whatever other face for you have, but I'm going to leave mine white. Okay, so now that all of that is completed, I'm going to close the fox's eyes for now, but oh no, I messed up. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, okay, so make, oh okay, make sure your fox is good and how the, you want them to be, I'm just gonna let that boom. And, <sighs> okay, now that the fox is how it is right now, you, for this we're gonna make your fox a little darker, so not too dark, make, actually make it however dark you want, I suggest doing just like, this much oh wait this about that much and that's what you have for the point mask then you go down a bit a decent amount more and you can make it actually i'm gonna make mine up like this and you put that for the eye stuff then you can make it a little darker and go Put that right there for both sides, make it a little brighter. I'm gonna adjust mine. And then for this little thingy, you can make that also even more dark. And then you have this. You can then then grab this part and you make it the same color as that. Now you have two options here. You can, I just realized I forgot cheeks. Oh, wait, cheeks, the cheeks. I broke the cheeks. Oh no, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, we're good. You can either leave it white how it is. You can make it black. You can do this. Or you could do muzzle pads and do something like... Ah! Like that. And, and that's gonna be out of your one. I'm gonna leave mine fully white. And the last thing to do, the last couple things to do is color your scars now, color your whiskers if you want, and make the nose black. You can keep the paws the color they are, that you can make them brighter, you can do whatever you want with the paws, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to make the paws their original color. And same goes for the ears. For the ears, I like to make it the lightest color. And lastly, you can just do your eyes however you want. You can, uh, I'm not gonna give a suggested one. You can literally make it whatever you want. You can make it green. I you can make it keep it blue, which is how I like. And there you have it. This is your completed fox. Take a good look at it. You did put all your hard work into making this gorgeous fox that you can now enjoy in role plays and all sorts of other stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!